Number 17 says a coordinate system in meters is constructed on the surface of a pool table and three objects are placed on the table as follows. A 7 kilogram object at the origin of the coordinate system, a 16 kilogram object at 0 comma 2, and a 25 kilogram object at 4 comma 0. Find the resultant gravitational force exerted by the other two objects on the object at the origin. And so what we have here is sort of a gravity problem mixed in with a two-dimensional motion problem. So let's go ahead and draw our, our coordinate system. So um, I'm going to draw it like this. This is my y-axis. This is my x-axis. We have right here at the origin, uh, there is a, a seven kilogram, so a seven kilogram ball. And then at at zero, so x is zero, comma two, so one, two, right here, is a 16 kilogram ball and then at 4 comma 0 so 1 2 3 4 right here is a 25 kilogram ball uh, uh, object we'll just say object ball it don't matter and so we gotta figure out what is the force it's gonna be something like that because we got a, a, an x component and a y component and so what we have to do is figure out what the x component is and the y component is and then we can add we can sum those those vector quantities up and find our resultant vector so first let's do the gravitational force of the seven kilogram and the twenty five kilogram object so we have the negative six point or I'm not I'm sorry not negative we have six point six seven three times 10 to the negative 11th. That's our gravitational constant. We're taking that times mass 1, which was 7. Uh, so 7 times mass 2, which was 25. So it's 25 over the radius squared. So we the radius was 4. So 4 squared is 16. And so we multiply that and we get our force. And the force is, it, it equals 7.29 uh, 7.29 will go 9 times 10 to the negative tenth newtons, and so that's the force of that's the x component, and then we want to find the y component. So we we set up the same thing: 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th times 7 times and times 16 in this case times 16 over the distance, which is 2 squared, so over 4 and we can multiply that. So when you multiply this out you get the resultant uh, the y force of of 1.8 1 1.86 uh, 1 1.868 times 10 to the negative ninth. So it's actually a little bit of a larger force not because this is bigger but because they're closer together. And so 1.8 so what we can do is we can we can say we have we have this this x force that goes to here, and we have a y force that goes to here. Now I'm on a, m a microscopic scale right now, so this isn't even one yet. That's like 0 0.0005. Um, if so, the, the scale of this is really small, and and so then we can say that a squared plus b squared, so that equals equals c squared, and so we just um, multiply this out. So the 7.29 times or 29 nine times ten to the negative tenth squared is five point three two six nine five times ten to the negative nineteenth and then the one point eight six eight times ten to the ninth squared is three point four nine times ten to the negative eighteenth and so you add these together when you add them together you get four point zero two three times 10 to the negative 18th. Now you gotta find the square root of this because this is c squared so to find c we find the square root and the square root is 2.006 times 10 to the negative ninth. This is the resultant this is the magnitude of the resultant force. So now we, we know that the magnitude of our force we know that so we can say this is our force of 2. Point 009 times 10 to the negative ninth. So we can say that this force cosine theta equals, and then we can put in, we can plug in this force. Whatever this force was, was um, we said it was 7.729 times times uh, 7.299 times 10 to the negative tenth. So equals 
equals 7.299 times 10 to the negative tenth. And so then you just divide by this force, divide this force over, and you get cosine theta equals, equals the f of x over, over the f. And then you, you can take this, so you do cosine to the negative 1, f of the x over the f, and this will equal equal your resultant angle, which is uh, 68.66 degrees.